Hi, it's the second week in January that I'm making this video series, Why Resolutions Fail. The holidays are over, then here you are, back to work and business as usual. But maybe you don't want to have business as usual. Maybe you've made a New Year's resolution to change something in your life. I'm Bonnie Minku, Senior Certified ADHD Coach and Founder of Thrive with ADD. And it's my mission in life to help people change in positive ways. It's a great time of year to make changes to help you get the results you want. But if you're like most people, you find it's easy to make resolutions, but much harder to keep them. And that seems to be especially true for us with ADD or ADHD. So that you can actually succeed in making the changes you want, let's look at a couple of major reasons why most New Year's resolutions fail within the first few days or weeks of the new year. Reason number one, the resolution is all about the goal and not so much about the strategy. Now, of course, it's important to have a goal, a desired vision that will move you forward, but you've probably wanted to achieve that goal all along. If simply resolving to achieve a goal were enough, you would have done it already. For example, Every January, thousands of people resolve to lose weight or get in shape. Most even go far enough to start a strategy to do that, for example, joining a gym. Research shows that up to 50% of new gym memberships are purchased in January, and 67% of people who have gym memberships never use them. Well, probably because the strategy didn't go far enough. That is, there may not have been enough clear strategic thinking going into what will make it likely that you actually follow through on your goal to go to the gym. Your vision needs to include a strategy and an action plan. To see how this would work for an individual, let's look at Jenny, an ADHD adult who wants to get in shape. She hasn't worked out in 10 years, but she decides to join a gym and work out three days a week before work. What are the positive forces that are helping her? Well, motivation to change her body, the fact that the gym is on her way to work, and she has a friend that intends to go at the same time. The restraining or negative forces working against her are that she is not a morning person, she doesn't like to work out, and she tends to give up easily if she doesn't get things right. What happened? Well, Jenny gets to the gym three times in the first week, but then things get really busy at work. Her friend turns out not to be so reliable about going when she says she will. And by the third week, Jenny stops fighting the temptation to sleep later in the morning. She's just too tired, loses the motivation, and by the end of the month, she stopped going altogether. What would have helped? probably a more complete analysis of what would counteract the difficulty of getting up earlier in the morning. In order for Jenny to be able to get up at least 90 minutes earlier to do something that she doesn't really want to do, she has to be able to get a full night's sleep. And that would involve thinking through a strategy for getting to bed earlier. How should she do it? Well, it might require a winding down ritual. Perhaps at a certain time, Jenny would do a final set of activities to get ready for bed, cleaning the kitchen, choosing the next day's clothes, brushing her teeth, turning off her computer. It might also involve going to bed earlier little by little, since her body might not adjust all at once. Jenny would have to be patient and not to expect that it would be perfect the first week. Jenny's challenge here would be to remind herself to have patience and to fight her perfectionism, that tendency to think all or nothing that's derailed her efforts in the past. Now it's easy to say change your thinking, but it's much harder to actually do, especially for us who are perfectionists or who tend to really beat ourselves up over not getting it right. Which leads us to the second big reason many of us fail in our intentions. That reason and how to counteract it is coming up this week in video two. So watch your emails for it and plan to join me in a free live webinar this Thursday evening, January 9th. 
click the button below to register for the free webinar this Thursday evening to get the details. I'll see you soon.